Hi, I'm Lou. Welcome to my YouTube. I'm in another beer fridge in Texas, 20 miles in to another nuts group ride. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this isn't where I started the day though. It's that early that it's not even light yet. It is just after six. I was up at five on the way to the start of this ride. I'm nervous. Here's Rob. <laughs> I'm also awake. I'm even more nervous than I was the other day because the ride is longer and the pace is faster. So I am quite scared. <sighs> Almost to the start. We are stopping at a gas station so I can go to the blue first. So yes, mostly the same group as the other day, but even faster and for even longer. <sighs> Banana time. Thankfully everyone else seems to be boiling, even the things have steamed up in here. Hoping the ride works will take a bit longer so I can rest. Too fast. <laughs> This cowgirl is dying. Oh my gosh. Finally steamed up. I'm just gonna have a little look in here. Oh yeah. I'm thinking about just staying in here because I'm not just outside of my comfort zone. I am way past it. My phone's actually shaking. I am so hot, we are going so fast, but as much as I want to bail, I know I'll be disappointed if I do, because we're only 50 miles in, so I've still got another 20. I'm wearing my Olympic top and I'm representing. <laughs> oh, I've got company. No, you don't. Check it out. <laughs> I'm staying here, thank you very much. <laughs> I better get out there. Let's go. Okay, top up time. That, going in there, although I want to get in here. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Done. Rob to the rescue. Yeah. Oh, my tongue. Oh, you've been drinking Gatorade, eh? Yes. So, that was ridiculous. My last video was in the beer fridge at about 50 miles. We just did the last 20 something miles in way under an hour. Like I kept looking at my wah uh, wahoo thingy and I was like, oh, brilliant. We're now doing 27 miles an hour. Like how do people start picking up the pace as it gets even hotter and we get even tireder? Uh, that was mental, absolutely mental. I think I was just in, and the fact that's what I'm gonna name my Strava ride. Paris 2024 Olympic Road Race, Houston, Texas edition, because that was nuts. Nice. Well, you survived. I did survive. I was no, I mean, I, I, I've never sweated as much. Like, I couldn't even use my phone. I had to dry my fingers on something in the car to be able to press the buttons on my phone because my fingers are broken as well as everything else. You sweat out of your fingertips? Everything. <laughs> even Laura said, I'm sweating on sweat. Like, her sweat was sweating. Yeah. <sighs> Anywho, Welcome to Texas. Just nuts. Let's come back in the winter. Okay. But first, talk to me about refueling. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're going for a Texas tradition, specifically in my family. Burgers on Saturday. Texas Whataburger. Let's do this. Whataburger. I'm ready. I will talk to y'all later. Goodbye. <laughs> well, before we refuel, because it's not even lunchtime yet because we went out so early, 
I'm going to fire myself into that swimming pool. Oh my gosh. I'm in bits. <laughs> 71 miles in three hours and a bit, it's just nuts. No elevation though, I love it. That's my kind of riding, fast, flat. Unfortunately, we go home tomorrow. Two weeks has gone really fast, I've had an amazing time. The weather last week was awful. It chucked it down all week, so this week has been great to get out and do some good rides with good people who are way too fit for their own good but excellent training. And tomorrow I'm looking forward to watching the women's road race. So I might actually turbo and watch it on the TV there. Did you watch the Olympic women's road race? Oh my gosh, I was glued to it. I didn't do turbo. I just sat there. What a result for America. Kristen Faulkner, what a race. I loved it. Of course I want GB to do well, they did well but this will do wonders for USA Cycling, get more people who might not have watched the sport, get involved, watch the races, tune into the Women's Tour de France next week and see all these absolute superstars. Amazing race, women's cycling is so good. I think Lance Armstrong did so much damage to USA Cycling not just doing the drugs in the first place because apparently everyone was doing them but the way he acted his behavior all that stuff and I think something like an Olympic gold for America and the women's road race is just so inspiring so incredible and the story of Kristen as well like she only took up cycling seven years ago is amazing and not only is Kristen an incredible athlete she's also a really lovely person so clever Harvard graduate and super supportive of everything we've done in the Internationales. She hopped on board and helped spread the word with our campaign, trying to close the gender gap in cycling. We we're campaigning about prize money, coverage, all that stuff. And today's Olympic gold is just fantastic and very well deserved. So sadly, this is my last spin while I'm here in America wearing my USA top. Proud to represent. I think Rob's gonna come out in a sec. He's parading around <laughs> in the golf buggy with his stars and stripes. And we'll be heading home later today. So, gonna do a bit more training. I'll talk to you in a sec. So that's me heading back now to get packed up. I'll do a separate video on packing up my bike into my new box. Oh gosh, check this out. What on earth do we have here? Wow. Wow. Do you know how long it's been since I've been out on my bike? You're inspired, see? It's working. It is. I, uh, you know, I was going to set up the other gag for you, but I was just like, wait a second. I have two working legs. I have a working bike, I turned on Strava, and here I am, all decked out. <laughs> this is awesome. Yeah. Wow. Thanks for bringing home the gold, Kristen. Right? This is awesome. Well, I was just about to wrap up, so we're on the way home. And, but to please subscribe because we are heading to the Women's Tour de France, yeah. the Tour de France Femme avec Zwift, next week and we will be meeting all of these superstars on the road. So you can see some videos where Rob might actually dress like that and go and meet Kristen. Hey, oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I'll bring this all get up. I think you should. In the US hat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! It's, a, it's a good day for USA cycling. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. <laughs> so from us, <laughs> thank you for watching. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the comments. Please subscribe. We will see you very soon in Europe. Bye. See you there. Here's some bonus footage. He's just changed transport. <laughs> and after this, I've actually got two other bits of bonus footage. One of lunch yesterday, and then some chaos in a sports shop. That's really it now. Bye.
It's National Whataburger Day. What? It's very exciting. So, it's the right day to be at a Whataburger. Woo! <laughs> see the dive? I know they didn't want to see it. They didn't look. But 